welcome back to the channel welcome back to another gta 5 tutorial in this tutorial guys we are going to be installing a speedometer all right this is another way to just uh freshen up your game gaming experience on gta 5 so if you want to go ahead and install this into your game let's go ahead and take a look at a few pictures over here so you'll be driving around and this will be the speedometer that you see right here uh you can go ahead and put it like anywhere on the screen in game wherever you want i'm gonna go ahead and show you how you can do go about doing that and this will be another skin right here and then this will be another skin right here as you can see this one it does show up here when you are inside like a fighter jet or any other airplane in the game all right let's go ahead and take a look at that i think that's pretty much it in terms of uh uh, of the skins over here and this will be the menu right here we're just going to go ahead and get into the game and access the menu and see what we can change all right so without any further ado just go ahead and come to this page uh click on this green arrow right here it's going to go ahead and open up another page go ahead and download right here it's going to go ahead and download the program i already have it downloaded as you can see right here on my next up i do have this uh file over here so what we're going to need for this one is going to be our gta 5 main directory and i am using steam so let me go ahead and open up my steam over here go to gta 5 right click properties go to local files and just browse my local files it, it is going to bring out my gta 5 main directory just like so all right and uh, we are going to be installing this into our gta 5 main directory so let's go ahead and open up the file and like i always do i'm going to go ahead and unzip my files i think it just freshens up the file the files before you install them into your game all right so what we are going to do here is go ahead and drag and drop all of these three files right here do not install the readme please do not install the readme it could cause your game to crash okay so let's go ahead and drag and drop this one over here all right and the other thing guys you really don't want to be installing anything unnecessary into your game all right if you go ahead and read the readme if you want the most important thing that you need to really pay attention to will be uh the button that you need to press on your keyboard to bring out the menu so you can go ahead and make a few changes in the game all right i don't think you can make any changes over here let me go ahead and close this uh let me go ahead and go into the configuration file here and see if there's anything that we can change from this point over here all right make sure you pay attention to this over here you cannot edit this uh <laughs> you cannot edit this right here to whatever you want i guess uh the other just said it like that all right let's go ahead and close this and now we're just gonna go ahead and jump into the game guys and see what this mod does Alrighty, guys we are in the game once you log in into the game your speedometer is going to be very much active all right but let's go ahead and make a few changes over here so i'm gonna go ahead and hit the button that we need to hit to open up the menu all right so as you can see my menu has come up over here all right so for to navigate through the menu all you're gonna need to use is your number pad right to go down you're gonna need to use two on your number pad to go up you're gonna need to use eight on your number pad and then let's go ahead and open it up to open uh, the skins menu you're gonna go ahead and hit five on your number pad and now it's gonna go ahead and give you an option to choose as you can see now I'm gonna go ahead and use custom but i don't have any custom but let's go ahead and use this one modern you can go ahead and use this one if you want as well you can go ahead and use this one as well but i like to use this one right here so this is this one is like one of my favorites right here all right and now to go back you're gonna need to go ahead and close and open up the menu again using the button that you need to use to be opening up the menu and now i'm gonna go ahead and hit my uh number pad 2 on my keyboard to go down to imperial or metric system over here i'm gonna go ahead and hit five to get in and now you can go ahead and change wanna whether you want to use like um meters per second miles per hour or to use kilometers per hour all right i'm just gonna go ahead and leave mine at default for miles per hour because this is gta 5 in um 
in the US, right? They use miles per hour down there. I don't know why they are so different from everybody else. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and hit my uh, menu button as well to close the menu. I'm going to go ahead and hit it again to open up the menu. And now I'm going to go ahead and go down over here. It says performance. I don't even know what's in there. I'm going to go ahead and hit five on my number pad. And now you can go ahead and say mileage counter you can go ahead and turn on the mileage counter if you want uh where the hell is that and no, i don't want you don't want i don't really want to turn on my mileage counter as you can see at the bottom of my uh speedometer right now uh it will show you show you the mileage counter and everything like that uh for the timer over here um I don't really think you need to go ahead and turn on the timer it doesn't make any sense all right so let's go ahead and go down to settings over here so now we're gonna go ahead and uh maximum speed in red so if you go ahead and go over the maximum speed in the game it's gonna go ahead and turn red or something like that i'm not sure uh night lights i don't know if you, you want to turn this on and off or something like that just gonna go ahead and leave mine uh, as on uh it says hide in first person on or off let me go ahead and go into first person now and see if you're gonna uh, all right so if you go ahead and turn it off as you can see you can still see your speedometer in first person all right i'm just gonna go ahead and leave mine on so that i don't have to see it while i'm in uh in first person go ahead and go down over here it says don't hide kind m um does he even show the car name or anything like that i don't know but it is what it is uh but now i'm gonna go ahead and go down and using two on my number pad and then now if i go ahead and use either four or six i'm gonna go ahead and change the scale of my speedometer right now so i'm gonna go ahead and try to make mine uh a little bit small i think that height is pretty okay i'm gonna go ahead and hit two on my number pad now i'm gonna go ahead and change the position now i'm hitting six to move it all uh, to the right and then if you hit four it's gonna go ahead and move to the left just like that let's go ahead and see if i can position this properly now i'm gonna go ahead and go down to the y axis now i'm gonna go ahead and hit you're gonna go ahead and hit four or six to move it up and down all right as you can see now i'm hitting four to move up now i'm gonna hit six on my number pad to move it down so i'm gonna go ahead and need mine maybe somewhere around here i think that's perfect just about right there all right and uh if you mess up anything over here go up you can go ahead and go to set to default and then start again uh to modify this however you want all right i think that's pretty much it as far as as i am concerned all right so let me go ahead and close this here real quick uh and i think in the last tutorial i show you guys how to install what was it uh pull me over or something like that i need to go ahead and close my hub over here i don't know why i left it open or anything like that but anyways so this will be the conclusion of our tutorial and the showcase of our speedometer right now it's pretty simple all right it just adds a little bit of flavor into your gaming experience i feel uh it just depends on which one you choose uh so i do love this one right here so that's the one i am going to keep i might have made my speedometer a little bit too small i might have to change the scale once again a little at a time but for right now guys thank you so much for watching thanks so much for subscribing and i'll catch you guys next time man hopefully there's no cops around Jesus Christ.